Who you are when you're being psychologically tortured is not who you are, but that is the game the narcissist is playing with you. The narcissist thinks the two of you are in a competition to see who can pretend to be the victim best. So the more you lose it, the more the narcissist is thinking, boy, I'm really winning this time. They really do see the world as there's always a good guy and always a bad guy. So as long as they can get you to act like the bad guy, that automatically makes them the good guy. But they will do horrible things to get this to happen. As unideal as your extreme reactions may be, mutual abuse is still a myth. Because abuse is about power and control. That's why it can take so many different forms and look so different with different situations. It all comes down to one person having inordinate and unreasonable amounts of power and control over another. In a relationship with any two people, any kind of relationship, one having unreasonable power and control over the other can't go both ways. So even if you raise your voice, that doesn't make it mutual abuse. The narcissist's desire to have complete power over you and not let you have any control or power over yourself is the reason that I don't think gray rock works and I don't think it's safe to do. When I first heard about gray rock, I thought, what a great tool. I'm going to start using this as soon as I can and see how much better things get. Things got scary. The less I reacted, the more insane he became trying to provoke extreme reactions from me. I didn't understand. The shame of so-called reactive abuse is a big hurdle for victims of narcissistic abuse to get over. But pretty much Everyone who has been involved with a narcissist has experienced this. That tells you that you can forgive yourself for this. You can have compassion for your past self when you were desperately trying to understand what's even going on in your life or why this person is treating you this way. You can take responsibility for how you've behaved. You can get out of your situation. And then you can let go of the past, forgive yourself, understand that that's not who you really are. It was an extreme situation, and so your extreme reactions were a natural response. There will be a day that you can look back and be grateful to your past self for showing you these signs of life. It helped you understand that you had to get out of this situation because it was never going to improve. It was only going to get increasingly toxic. Moving forward, you can engage only with a different kind of person, not someone who thinks that a relationship is about seeing who can get the other one to behave the worst. <laughs>